The festive season ends up taking a toll on Avenue Supermarts. The cost of discounts and extra working hours hurt the profitability of Dmart retail chain. <coughs> Darshan Mehta is standing by with a closer look at the numbers. Darshan, good morning. Not the best of quarters. No, no, it won't be and probably the stock also won't react positively uh, because I was going through a lot of brokerages and they, they didn't have the most positive things to say. Uh, firstly, let's talk about the numbers. Uh, uh, the revenues came in at uh, 5451 crore. Uh, this is even lower than the Bloomberg estimate. So in line with Bloomberg estimates of 5476. Uh, so that is there, but the other factors, uh, EBITDA came in at 400. And, uh, so the EBITDA came in at 453 crores. Uh, that's a growth of 7%. Uh, the Bloomberg consensus was 490 crores. The margin dip of 200 basis points is something that is uh, something that you need to watch out for. Even the Bloomberg consensus margin was 9%, but that's even coming lower. And the profit growth was just 2%, uh, 257 crores versus the Bloomberg estimates of excess of 290 crores. So on all fronts, uh, DMART uh, came out with a disappointing set of numbers. If you take a look at what what's happened over the past uh, four five quarters and you can clearly see that the trend is slowing down significantly uh, if you're looking at uh, there is a slowdown as far as profit is concerned just two percent profit growth from excess of 50 percent so the base is now catching up for dmart uh, the margins down 200 basis points that is the big talking point for them uh, thirdly decline in other income and higher depreciation expenses is something that uh, uh, that impacted the net profit of the company and the gross margins are also lower now, if you're looking at what uh, uh, aided uh, the top line this time around, uh, the everyday low cost strategy uh, and, and they went out in terms of, you know, cutting prices uh, to be more competitive uh, compared to the online as well as offline. So that is something that, uh, you know, aided the top line but impacted the margins. They added four growths, taking the store crown to 964. But what hurt the margins? That is more important. First of all, price cut during festive season. That's the biggest one. And they said that they had to do it. Uh, secondly, they overspent on longer operating hours because of the festive season. Season. The stores were kept uh, open for much longer time than what was there. Uh, higher inventory build up on anticipation of the festive season. And finally, higher investment in infra and people is something that they did. And all this impacted the margins of T-Mart. Valuations are through the, school, uh, through the roof, uh, uh, still on an FI19 basis, uh, DMART trades uh, close to 100 times on books. So any room of margin disappointment will lead to a fall that comes in. Even if you see the chart, you know, uh, post-October, you saw a big drop that came in in the share price, uh, uh, given the fact that, and the valuations, given the fact that the numbers did not meet estimates. So that's the first one. Uh, most of, uh, if you're looking at what the analysts are saying, uh, I went through a couple of them. We'll have uh, what the analyst chart does indicate. Majority of them have have a sell rating on DMART now and that has increased significantly. Just to take a few, uh, Credit Suisse says is the second consecutive uh, miss of more than 10% earning miss. Edelweiss says that uh, the store edition is much lower than the guided, what the management had guided. HSBC is saying, they are, they are slightly positive, they are saying that the margin concern is myopic but still is among the highest among the peers. And JP Morgan is saying expensive valuation and earning downgrade keeps them underweight on the stock. So by, by all means in most cases uh, uh, DMART will open gap down in today's district. Thanks, Dashin. Thanks for putting that into perspective. A very expensive stock, if it doesn't deliver on all counts, uh, probably tends to react a bit negatively. That's what Avenue Supermarts has done this quarter. It also did a similar thing last quarter. Let's wait and watch what happens to this counter in the session today. But the quarter wasn't the best for this one.